Hello everybody and welcome to another Tips and Tricks video. My name is Dan Lopez and I am the Application Specialist for Tecla Power Fab. Uh, today we are going to talk about a quick process slash tool that has been available in the software for a while and that I think it can be really helpful to help you making decisions in different uh, purchasing or inventory scenarios. And that is the run comparison between combining runs uh, process. Uh, so to begin with all this, I will actually go ahead and open this production control job and just set a filter for the material that I actually want to utilize for this example. And let me just real quick send this to a requisition. Uh, this one right here. All of it. So, okay, so just to clarify this, a lot of people like to run the combining runs straight in production control. Uh, but just as a personal preference, I like to do it in requisitions to have a more visual representation on what I am actually allocating. Uh, and you know, you know, and also that's my recommendation because in some companies, uh, the people running the combining process is strictly related to just to purchasing, uh, so they can work in their own module and, and keep their workflow separate from uh, production control, but it's still connected to it, right? So it still feed that information of when the material is being purchased and all that, but they are keeping their process separated from those guys. Okay, so let me just close this and open that requisition real quick. And here we are. Okay, so there are different scenarios where you will actually would like to have a, a comparison run. Uh, the first one that I will show you as an example will be using different optimizations. You know, in this first case, I will actually go ahead and try to force to use my open stock over every other chance. So I have the warehouse force inventory included into my uh, right side. Uh, you can add to the equation the combine only within sequence if you want to. Uh, that basically is trying to force CPM to put together on the same bar pieces only from the same sequence, right? If, if this is a small job, maybe you can uncheck that and you will get a way better drop percentage. Uh, use maybe it will be hard harder to handle for the shop floor but that's an option that it's available and it's something that just by itself it can be a good scenario to compare actually to right see how good is the scrap percentage by combining only within the sequence or not uh, but anyway so we'll go ahead trying to use the inventory or we'll go ahead and mold this and this should be pretty fast and there is our first set of results uh, with a 20% overall, I'll save this as imp preference just for my reference and save this combining run. And then I will go ahead and run the uh, combining, but this time uh, using the second scenario, which was changing the warehouse force inventory by the warehouse list scrap. So in this case, it will try to go and tell me if there is if there is a better option by buying material instead of using uh, the open stock. So I'll go ahead and run this. And I can immediately notice here that the drop percentage by itself as an overall, it's way lower. Uh, let me just go ahead and save this as warehouse pref. And OK, save. So we will have the option to compare with a previously saved run under the pull down menu. Let's click on that. And if you have several runs, you can just select the one that you want to compare this with. I'll go with the inventory preference, compare that. And that's it. Now, uh, you can see that this show you in the first screen the run number one, which is the actively open. Uh, combining run and then you can see the old one on, as the run number two and you can compare uh, the quantity of pieces combined the percentage of the pieces that were combined or not combined uh, the scrap or drop percentage and then the total cost for them so you can see here just by as as the overall that the last combined run that we had is actually like two grants um, cheaper than the run number two right but you can go ahead and and compare that by shape by grade by a particular size only the sizes with the asterisk are the ones that actually had difference against each other so for example if i go to this uh, 10 by 12 you can see that and the last combined run i am actually taking a 55 footer from the warehouse and a 25 
20 feet footer that I actually need to buy to against the run number two where I was actually using 250 footers from my inventory uh, with a bigger scrap percentage and, and actually a bigger, a bigger cost from my stock. So that's just one scenario that you can use to analyze. And of course, you can save some of the options from these combining runs that we have open and then just go to the other one that we saved before and save the ones that you like from that scenario. So it can be a combination of saving results. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll we'll go ahead and show you one more example for this tool, uh, which is comparing two combining rounds, but for pricing. So what I will do this time is actually go and run my combined and I will do it just for one size so we can uh, make it faster for the video. Let me just go with the 12 by 35s, which I think is the shape that I have, uh, shape and size where I have the most of my beams. So I'll just go ahead and run the mold for that one. Uh, this is trying to take whatever lengths I have set up on my uh, pricing database that are the best options, which in this case are 60 footers. I'll go ahead and call my vendor and he tell me that he has particularly a number of certain pieces which a specific price. So what I will do is put that information into my specific pricing maintenance, right? Instead of taking all this coming from my database, I'll go ahead and run this particular scenario. And I can go from here, just putting what he told me, or I can just do it from a global edit, wherever you find easier, it's okay. I'll just go ahead with the global edit and say, for my 12 by 35s, I will actually say, he told me the options we have is either uh, 1040 feet pieces, uh, $38 per hundred way and he also have 25 20s at $42 per hundred weight and then I'll just go with an extra set of five pieces at 50 footer and I will say those are $45 per hundred way just random prices right here save this and to refresh this combining, I just need to go ahead and say recombine all this. I want to go ahead and do it and don't save the results for now. So this should go ahead and run uh, real quick refreshing the results for me. Uh, it's trying to take the best that I can do. You can see I, uh, it's using some 50s and uh, 40 over there. And as an overall, I have almost a 2% of a scrap, which sounds pretty good. So I'll go ahead and save this as vendor number one. Uh, okay, and save this combining run. I'll close this screen for a moment and go ahead and run my second combine for my vendor number two. So I'll select the same size, which it was the 12 by 35. Here it is. Okay, uh, mold this. And then I will go ahead and say, yep, so this guy, the only thing that he has available will be. I, don't know, I will go with 25s and 30 footers. So I'll put that into my specific pricing uh, window. Let me just go ahead and global edit. It's just faster in this way. Set my lengths. And he said he has 10 20s at $37 per 100 way. And also I don't know, 25 pieces of 35 feet pieces at $38 per hundred way. So I'll save those results and recombine my combining run. And I don't want to save it for now. And then I'll call this vendor number two to have a more clear comparison. Vendor number two. Okay. And let me just go ahead and run the compare with the previously saved run option. So this time against vendor number one. And in this case, you can clearly see, for example, that uh, we were using uh, mostly 50s and uh, 40 in the vendor number one case scenario. And that run, run actually, it's a total of 3,600, almost 3,700. Uh, in the run number one, we actually have a bigger scrap percentage as you can see 
but the price is better just because the price of the beams are even better. So there are different things that you can have in mind when running this, right? Are you going by the price, even if it's a bigger drop, or are you going by the scrap percentage? Uh, there may be the case that where the, the scrap percentage is very similar, but the price, it will be the the point of decision. So it's, it's just different things that you can analyze by running this tool. Um, pretty much that's it. I will go back later with some more tools to show you and thank you for watching.